what's up guys welcome to another episode of deadlight sanctuary on this episode i'm going to be showing you a weapon that i improved from the last one you guys may remember my uh nagashetti as i called it it had a pvc pole i had an old cheap machete and it had electrical tape all the way around it well i improved my technological abilities i guess you could say and i made one out of an actual wooden pole with a different well it's not really different but it's a newer machete blade. I still have the old one, but I like this one way better. So, I told you guys, uh, I think I told you guys on the last episode that I've been working with paracord and stuff like that. So, on this Nagashetti, I have a paracord wrapped pole. It's wrapped in different sections, all for a better comfort of the hand when you grip it. Figure out which position was better for my hands when I grip it. And you also have the one down here if you're going for a swing. Or you have the two up here if you're going in for like a really close stab. So, got this. It's got paracord right there, right there, right there, and right there. And it's a lot lighter than my other blade. And the sheath, they improved the sheath since the last one I got. It looks a little bit better. And uh, it doesn't tear as easily as the other one did. So, this is the blade right here sharpen it on a sharpening wheel or a grinding stone I guess you could say you know, fuzz and stuff like that on it from the sheath but it's pretty sharp I scalped a half and half bottle a few days ago and it's pretty good it's got some good accuracy I had to bend the blade a little bit because when I put it in it was a little bit crooked but basically all I did was to make this is I'm probably gonna do a tutorial video but with this I'm just gonna tell you with this one so what I did was you see where the blade is put into the pole that I basically cut a straight line, somewhat of a straight line, to about here, to about there on the pole. And then I tapped the machete in lightly with a rubber mallet. And then I got a sledgehammer, or like a mini sledge, and I placed it on something that was hard. And I pounded it in lightly so it would match up with the pole. And this pole is made out of, uh, it's made out of red oak. And so it's, it's a bit of a strong pole. It's not a mahogany or a hickory or anything like that. But it's a strong, it's a strong enough pole for what I use it for. So, but yeah, it's got paracord, right up pole. It's a stainless steel, spring steel. Well, no. Well, yeah, stainless spring steel machete blade. And the machete blade was cheap. I only got it for like seven bucks. And the pole, I got it for free from my wood guy. Paracord was only two dollars, so this is all in all that this pole probably costs like twenty bucks. But all in all, this is a pretty cheap, cheap machete than what you would uh, buy it for at like sword stores and stuff like that. So with this, I'm gonna chop through uh, a water jug, the same as in my other video, and with a knife machete. And I'm gonna do it the same exact way, the best I can anyway. If I miss, then I miss. I haven't used a knife machete in a while. But, uh, so yeah, let's get to the cutting. 